Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Checking on the babies today. This is Kit from the Big Joe Herd. This is her first baby, a heifer baby, which is exciting. This is what we want. They are coming in to get a little bite to eat. Oh, I'm gonna get away so she can be with mama. We are right in the middle, red dog season. And so I love coming out here and seeing if we've got a new baby or not. That's one thing that I always love about coming out here is you never know when you're gonna have another baby. You never know when you're gonna have another red dog. And I, I love coming out here and doing that because you can just go out there and if you watch one of my previous videos, you may be surprised on what you may find out here on the ranch. And so I'm gonna go out, we're gonna fly the drone actually this time and see how close we can get to the babies. We're gonna see if we have any more. We've got five right now number six should be coming here pretty soon get in there little guy if you guys are ready let's go out in the pasture and see if we got any more red dogs hey get off my boot so i'm just here hanging out with the herd i'm sitting actually on top of the atv like i said one of my favorite times of the year you come out here and you never know when you may see a red dog. Now Kevin's been helping me out when I'm not around or I haven't been out here. Kevin will let me know if he has seen some red dogs. He'll send me a text or a pic and say, you got a new red dog. One day I came out here in one of our previous videos and there was like three. I had like two in one day and then one the night before. I mean, it was like boom, boom, boom. I had a bunch of babies together. Uh, and then that's so fun to come out here and see them. And it's really not hard to tell because the mama is always either separated or um, it, it's easy to even see their bodies because of that red color that sticks out. Oh, man, this thing is getting rough. Oh, speaking of that, I wanna thank the sponsor today, Harry's. I need to get the razor out and clean this up. Oh. For me, it's about being professional. I gotta keep this thing clean. Yes, I do have a beard and I don't need much of a razor, but I do have to trim this stuff up. I gotta make it look clean, especially for you guys being on the camera. So my favorite thing to do is be on this camera. Of course, I'd rather put this guy on there. Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price, as low as $2 per blade refill. Harry's support great causes as they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care for those in need. Men, veterans and lgbtq plus use one of the least parts of, of shaving is how expensive the razors are one of the things that i love about harry's is the low price of two dollars a refill they have a hundred percent money back guarantee redeem your trial set for three dollars when you visit harrys.com backslash timbers in your trial set you'll get a five blade razor weighted handle a blade cover and their foaming shave gel it's an incredibly great deal, but act fast while supplies last. But what I wanna do is, I'm gonna fly that drone. I wanna see how close I can get to the babies. I maybe actually can see what sex they are. See how many males and females that we have, just so I know. That'll be super fun to do and, and, and see what we got. I think we have at least one heifer out here. I haven't been very close to them because they're just very distant, especially with being so young. The older they get, the mom will get used to it and the babies will get more comfortable being around. Let's take a look at the drone.
That was pretty cool. So we've got three females and three males total. So we've got currently five babies here in our Dunbar herd. And then we've got kits from the Big Joe. We still have got one more from Flo from the Big Joe herd to um, Calf. And then possibly, I think, Doc says she's pregnant, but Dakota is our last one from the Dunbar herd to have a calf. We're even right now. We'd love to have heifers because of course, you guys know, if you don't know what my goal is, my goal is to grow the herd. That's basically my short term thing right now as I wanna grow the herd and Marissa and I on the side and it's taking a little bit of time and it does take time, but we're trying to figure the meat side of things out for cross timbers bison, a, a little bit different side of the business on this end. Besides that, the quickest way to grow the herd is to keep your heifers, and that's what we got right here. We've got at least three heifers, and that's super exciting. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing the babies. It's fun to do anything with these red dogs. They're just, they're a unique animal. You know, not only is it just babies out here, they've got this cool red color about them, which is why they're called the red dogs. We love red dog season. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Growing the herd, this is what it's all about right here. Those little red guys out there. Thank you guys for watching.